Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review on some Hello Kitty toys that I saw at Target. I have no idea when these toys came out, but I just recently saw them in the toy aisle. And these are by a company called Blip, and they have a lot of really cute Hello Kitty toys, including what looks like an American version of Remints or Miniatures. And this was very exciting to me, so I de decided to get a few and do a review on them. They look really super adorable. I also got the Hello Kitty Posable doll that I'll be doing a video on also. I'll do that in a separate video. This will be just on the smaller toys. Um, so I'm really excited. So I got these two doll sets. Um, I believe this one was $7.99 and this one was $14.99 because this one has more of like a play set. And then the set that has just a bunch of food and it looks pretty much like Remints. Like they pretty much took Remints and made them and they're at Target. So it's very exciting. So let's get started. So the first set I got um, is this little um, Hello Kitty wearing a watermelon outfit and it's super adorable. So everything in this set is watermelon. It's called Watermelon Overload. So this says it's a mini doll. So there are a lot of different ones of these. Um, there was one where she was in like a raincoat and it came with a little umbrella. Um, there was one that was very spring themed so she had like a little honeycomb purse and it had bees on it so these are I think really super cute I love the little happy face on her dress and then they all come with these little clips so that you can hang them on your backpack I will not be doing that because I'd be too scared of losing it um, but it also comes with all these really cute watermelon um, themed food so let us open so these are all the pieces that it came with and it also came with this little um, package that says from Hello Kitty and inside of that was this little uh, donut. It's like a, I don't know what it is, um, <laughs> but it's like this kind of transparent pink um, Hello Kitty donut. So that's kind of cool. It kind of looks like the squishy. I kind of don't like that it's transparent, but whatever. Um, <laughs> anyways, so of course the first thing is the little Hello Kitty and I think this is really super cute. She's really poseable so she can turn her head all the way around. Her arms also go, I believe, all the way around. She can't really do it because her head's in the way, but I'm sure she could go all the way around with her arms. Now, her legs um, go forward and back like this, but her dress kind of gets in the way of her sitting completely flat, but she can be kind of in a sitting position. So I think this is really super cute. She even has like little watermelon shoes and her little striped socks and her, you know, her little bow that looks like watermelon themed and I think this is really really cute and I really like that she's posable and I even just noticed that there's like little bumps on her dress that I think are supposed to be seeds so that's kind of cool her head's a little loose like it seems a little bit too easy to move but that's okay maybe it's just I don't know her head is squishy and then her body is completely plastic so you could squish her head if you wanted to. I don't know why you would do that to poor little Hello Kitty, but you could. So that is her, and then she comes with this little clip to put it on a backpack or a bag. And I think you put her in it like a backpack. So yeah, you can put her in like that, but she like flips around and I could see how she could easily fall out of that. So I'm definitely not gonna do that. I'm just gonna have her in my room, but super super cute and adorable so that's the hello kitty then she comes with this super cute little watermelon drink it has a straw in it and a little bow and i think this is so cute i've never seen hello kitty mixed with watermelon like that's such a unique idea so i think this is really super adorable then there's a little popsicle and the popsicle has a little bow as well and this is just really cute and I really like it and it's very very reminiscent of Remint so I wonder if they saw Remint and then decided to do it but this is a really cute little box um, with a bow on it and it opens so super super cute I wonder if you can put the popsicle in here yeah so you can put a little popsicle in there how cute I really like this a lot so this is everything that came with the first little watermelon set. So the next set that I got um, is this bigger set and it comes with this really cool little 
bakery. It says Hello Kitty Cafe, and this is the playset one. So the place they had several different playsets as well, um, and they all have like the bigger piece too, as well as the doll. So I'm really like, super excited about this one. So let us open this one. So this is everything that came in the playset. So let's start with the little pieces that it came with. So these really do look like remints. Obviously, they're not as good a quality as remints because I feel like you can't really compare with the quality of a remint. They just put so much detail and effort into it. But these are a really, really good alternative, and it is way, way cheaper. So if you are dying to get a remint and you don't want to pay for it, then this is a really great option because they're tiny and cute, and, and you can use them with dolls and everything. So anyway, so the Hello Kitty is actually just a sticker that, that they placed inside of the plastic. Um, which is fine. So it's just a sticker that they put in there. But it's really cute. And then it came with this waffle. Now, I don't know why it's pink. And again, so the quality of this is not on par with Remint. But of course, this is just a regular American toy. So it's not going to be as much as the $50 Remints. Um, I don't know why the waffle is pink. I don't really like that it's pink. I wish it was more realistic looking, but whatever. It's still cute. I also wish that the bow looked more like a real bow sitting on it as opposed to just it's attached to it and it's painted on top, but whatever. So these pieces are really cute and then the waffle goes on the plate and it's adorable. Then it also came with this itty bitty uh, heart-shaped egg. Now, I don't know where the egg's supposed to go. I guess it goes on the waffle because it doesn't really fit on the plate because the plate is, like, so tiny. So I guess you could just put it on there like that. I don't know. And then you also get a little tiny knife and fork that has little bitty bows on them. So those are really super cute. And I'm hoping this is focusing enough. But yeah, so these are super duper tiny. So now onto the Hello Kitty. And this was actually... One of the reasons why I really wanted to get these dolls, because literally her dress is made out of bacon. And who would not want a dress made out of bacon? Because I sure would, though I'd probably eat it. But it's a really cute idea and I love it. So she's wearing a dress that is made out of bacon, which is hilarious. And she also has a little, I don't know what it is, a cookie? A co I don't know, it's like has holes in it. Maybe it's supposed to be a waffle. But there's a heart on there, an egg there, a cute little toast with a heart-shaped butter. I mean, come on, the butter is heart-shaped. And then she has a waffle bow with an egg, which is so stinking cute. And I love it. So these are just really super adorable. She has really cute socks and little shoes. And just so cute. I really like them. I really like this little bacon dress, and I want a bacon dress. So, super, super, super cute. Again, the same posability as the other one. She even has little pegs on her feet. I'm assuming that they make sets that you can stand them up. I don't know. Um, I don't think anything in here you can stick her feet in. But that's cool. She has little pegs on her feet um, to help her stand. So, that is super, super cute. Then it comes with this little table. And I think the table is one of my favorite pieces because, whoa, if I don't drop it everywhere. This is a really, really cute table. It has a lot of detail uh, in the top. This is like raised, so that's kind of cool. I love the bows along the side. And then the bottom of the table is a bow, which is super, super cute. So I love the incorporation of all of the Hello Kitty bows. You can't really see it that well, but it is really, really, really cute. So I really like the little table, so you can put your little waffle on there. Um, I don't know how that's all going to fit on there. So the table is kind of small compared with the other stuff. Okay, so then on to the best part. So this is the little cafe part, and this is really super cute. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Maybe it's butter. That's kind of gross if it's butter. I don't know. Maybe this should have been like chocolate or something, but that's kind of weird that it's yellow. So maybe we'll just say that it's like, I don't know what's yellow that I would want to be dripping on my roof. I don't know, but it, it's it's cute. I don't like that being yellow but <laughs> so there's a really cute bow there's a little tiny cash register and it says on the package that it dispenses stickers but I can't get them out okay there so there are some stickers that come out um and they are very scented it said that they would be scented and they are scented so oh there's more in there they just got stuck so maybe that wasn't a smart idea with packaging because all the stickers are getting rolled up 
inside of there and now it is stuck. Yay! So I can get that out now, but that's okay. So I'm gonna have to throw all the stickers away because they just got on my floor. But anyway, so that's really cute. And then this apparently opens maybe. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on. Eh. Okay, well it won't open. My fingers are too fat. Okay, there. I popped it open. <laughs> so the oven opens. I just have fat fingers, I guess. So there's just a hole there. So that's very cute. And then there's like the little bow on the, the glass thing. And then there's this little cute Hello Kitty sign on the side. So I think this is pretty adorable. Um, I don't really know what you put in the oven if you were supposed to put the waffle in the oven. I don't know. It just kind of doesn't really make as much sense. But then again, I think these are just made for kids to play with. So I don't know if it has to make sense necessarily. Um, and I also bought, I just realized that I just bought a bunch of food to put in it. So never mind. So that's everything that came with that play set. So now let's move on to the food pieces. So this is the last set that I got. And this says Baking Fun Mini Doll Play Kit. They had another one of these that, what was it? I believe it was like a flower shop because I think one of the other play sets is a flower shop. So these are all pieces that I believe you can use with the set that I just bought. Um, so let us open. So these are all the pieces that it came with. It says it came with 37 pieces. They all came in this little plastic baggie with Hello Kitty face on it. That is very cute. So let us get started. So first of all, these are all really, really cute. I really like them a lot. So the first thing, if I can show you that dropping everything. Ah. Okay, so the first thing is this really cute Hello Kitty cake that has a little slice out of it. And then the slice has a little bow. I think it goes this way. Yes. So that's a little Hello Kitty cake slice, which I think is really cute. Or cake and cake slice. This is the cake stand that the cake goes on. So there's the little yellow base. And then the top, which is shaped like Hello Kitty, which is really cute. And I actually think that these would be perfect to use with Hello Kitty Remints as well. So you could probably interchange them, which is really fun. Um, because I have the Hello Kitty Cake Shop Remint, I could totally use this piece with the Remints because it's about the same size. So if you already have Remints, then you could oh, you could get these to kind of supplement. And I'm assuming they're going to make more of these. So I think that's really, really cool. So I love this little cake stand. I think it's adorable. Then there's this little tiny Hello Kitty Mixer. It is also really, really cute, and it comes with a little bowl, and the bowl has a little kitty's face on it. The whisk, of course, is just a solid piece. It's not actually like a whisk where it's wire, but that's okay. And I think this is a really cute little piece, and I would like to have this in real life. Then there is this little jar with a Hello Kitty lid. And it even has a Hello Kitty head in there that you can't really see. There she is. Then there is like a little cookie set, so there's a little thing of cookie dough. A cutout Hello Kitty bow cookie that is upside down. And then the Hello Kitty cookie cutter. So these are really cute. And then this actually fits perfectly inside of there, which is kind of cool. Then there is this itty bitty little measuring cup with a Hello Kitty bow on it. Now these are the cupcakes. And I think that these are actually kind of cool because all of the tops come off. And there is a little raised Hello Kitty bow, and then these all have Hello Kitty bow cutouts, so they fit onto it. So, if you wanted to, you could just use the cupcake, if I can get it out, you can just, ah, you can just use the cupcake by itself, and it even has a bow on the side of it. So, I think that that's kind of cool, and you can interchange the tops with the bottoms, so if you want to have, you know, the red bottom with the Hello Kitty head piece. This is on the pink, but if you wanted to put this head on this cupcake, you can interchange them, which I think is really kind of cool. So there's that one, there's a pink and teal one with the bow that has like a little sprinkles on it, so that's really super adorable. This one just kind of has like a yellow 
top on it. So I think these are really super cute. I really like the idea of being able to interchange the tops and bottoms. Then there's also a little rolling pin that says Hello Kitty on it. Which would ruin it if you were rolling things out because it would imprint it, but whatever. <laughs> then there is a little tiny oven mitt. Goes on her little hand. So she can get her little treats out of the oven. Okay, so this is an example of a piece that is already a remet piece that I have. Um, I have the really Kuma eggs. And I think that they probably saw that and they were like, hey, we'll make eggs too. Or maybe they just wanted to make eggs. I don't know. But now the only problem I have. Are you ready for this? The eggs are a different color. I don't like it. <laughs> I wish they were all white. I don't know. I just wish they weren't. They look like Easter eggs to me, and I feel like that's kind of weird. Um, and maybe I'm just too into remints and it being more realistic looking, and these are just toys. But I do wish that all of the eggs were white, but that's okay. They're still really cute. And there's a Hello Kitty in the inside. So I really like how these have Hello Kitty heads everywhere because I think it's really cute. And the, the carton even has Hello Kitty bow on it, so that's cool. And so this closes up. Uh, this is the Hello Kitty pie that it came with. So the top comes off. The inside filling comes out, and then the crust comes out, if I can get it out. The crust comes out of that, and then you can put all of this in the little pan like you're baking it. So that's really cool. I like how you can transfer them into two separate containers. I really like that idea. Then lastly is this little Hello Kitty uh, sugar jar, and it just has a lid um, with what looks like just emptiness in it. So overall, I'm really, really happy with these pieces. If you've been looking for a uh, Hello Kitty themed food for your dolls or just to play with because they're tiny and they're really, really cute, then I really recommend these. Again, they're only at Target, I believe. I think you can get them on their website as well. I just want to throw out there that Target didn't ask me to do this video. I bought these myself. I just think they're really cute. I wanted to make a video on them, so don't think that they told me to make this video because I just really, really like these. Um, again, I will be making a video on the posable doll and the bed, and I'm really excited about it. So I will put, sorry, hit the camera. I will put the link down in the description to that. Please check that out. So yay, they have these at Target, and I'm so excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you later. Bye.